Hi there. Probably you have all received those emails from Google Ads stating you can now set up your enhanced conversions. But let's be honest, those are not that easy to set up on Shopify. We tried to make it work for a long time and tried all the possible methods. And now we finally have a fully working solutions we are happy to share. This is a free and fully functional tutorial, so you will not have to purchase Analyzify or another app. We will also share the code blocks you need to place into your Shopify settings. Just follow the steps carefully and you will have your Google Ads enhanced conversions working on your Shopify store perfectly fine. This is Erman, co-creator of Analyzify. As a globally trusted analytics partner of Shopify merchants, Analyzify has been chosen by over a thousand merchants and we have been helping their data analytics setups. However, this video is not about Analyzify. Having a proper, functional, reliable Google Ads enhanced conversion setup, you need several elements such as data layers, Google Tag Manager container, and purchase tracking script. The great news is that we have already prepared an open source solution for Shopify merchants that covers all of this and also a Google Analytics 4 setup. We call it the Shopify GA4 kit. To continue with me on this video, you need to have Shopify GA4 kit set on your website. If you haven't done it yet, go back to the related videos, complete and validate your setup, and then come back here and pick up where you left off. Now let's make our hands dirty and start setting up enhanced conversions on your Shopify store. Let's get started. There are two ways to set up Google Ads enhanced conversion tracking on your Shopify store. One is directly adding the code event snippet and the other is Google Tag Manager. In this video, we will be using Google Tag Manager method, but if you are interested in the other method by adding the code directly, you can find this tutorial on LinkedIn that explains and also provides you with the code block. The reason I prefer Google Tag Manager is it's more flexible, it's more reliable, and also we have already prepared perfect tool set for that. You have the data layers, Google Tag Manager container and everything ready. You just need to proceed with me in this video. So you will see how powerful is Google Tag Manager is if you are not familiar with that. So we will be using our open source solution, which is called Shopify GA4 kit. If you are not familiar with that, if you don't have Shopify GA4 kit on your store yet, you should be doing that first. So go to that specific video where I walk you through one by one how to set up Shopify GA4 kit. Unfortunately, in this video, we will only be focusing on enhanced conversion setup. So we will be adding some codes and some tags in our Shopify GA4 kit setup. So our Shopify GA4 kit has this page on GitHub. It, GitHub doesn't scare you. We just use it to, ho to host the codes. I am still here to guide you one by one. So if you have Shopify GA4 kit on your store, you should simply have in your settings, checkout. And if you scroll down to your checkout settings, you should firstly have Google Tag Manager snippet. Maybe it's not at the top, but it should be there. And then you should have this specific code block, purchase data layer. So this is GA4 kit version 2.1. And in this video, we will add a small code snippet to that code block to enable Google Ads enhanced conversion tracking. Because Google Ads is interested in email, first name, last name, city, address, country, province, etc., etc. So this is the first thing we will be doing. And the second thing we will do is we will add the relevant tags to Google Tag Manager. And also, of course, we will go to your Google Ads account and we will create the conversions that is needed one by one. So without further ado, let's get started. Here I would like to state a very important thing. This tutorial and this method is completely risk-free. We won't touch your existing Google Ads conversion tracking setup. We will just create new secondary conversions. The reason for that is we don't want to mess up your conversion tracking before we make sure it works. So what we will do, we will just go ahead, create a couple of new conversion conversions. We will mark them as secondary so that it won't affect your existing setup. 
and we will use those conversion labels in our tutorial so that the data from Google Ads enhanced conversion tracking will come into these new conversions and then you can just come here and see the data coming in and then once you are sure that it is working properly you can set them to primary. So let's start with creating the conversions. Go to your Google Ads account, click tools and settings and then conversions from the top menu. After you click the conversions, come here and click new conversion action. Choose website and it will ask your domain. Just type your domain and click scan and then it should come here. Create conversion actions manually using code. Don't choose this, just come here, say add conversion action manually. We will be adding three different conversions. I will explain you why. Make sure to choose purchase and the most importantly, make sure to choose secondary. If you don't do this, if you choose primary, then this conversion will affect your optimization, which we don't want at the moment. Let's just say purchase enhanced one. We will be doing two and three as well. I'll just say use different values for each conversion. Write here your average basket value. This is important because if the value is not got somehow, then Google Ads will use this value. So if your average basket value is like, let's say hundred dollars or euros, whatever, you should write that. And then count every, all the others are fine. I click done. Now we did one of them. And then I'll do another one, the same logic. We will be doing a little bit fast here. Purchase enhanced two different let's do again 100 scroll down done one more you might be wondering why i'm creating three conversions you will realize soon there is a good reason for that let's just do it again don't worry this won't harm your account at all because we chose we make sure to choose secondary now i created three new conversions here I'll just click save and continue. Now they are created. And as you can see here, Google Ads asks you how you will set this up. Choose use Google Tag Manager. Then it will give you your conversion ID and your conversion labels. Okay, we are going well. Now, just not to lose them, let's just create a new sheet. I'm sure you know if you just type docs.new it will open a new google doc which i love let's say google ads new enhanced conversion labels let's just copy and paste this all okay we will come back here we will need these labels we will be using them now we created our three new conversions they are ready to use we should go back and find our Google Tag Manager container. By default, in our Google Tag Manager container for Shopify GA4 kit, as it is about GA4 Google Analytics 4, there aren't any tags for, as you can see here, for Google Ads. That's why we need to be importing those tags. In the video description, I will provide you with a link how, where you can download our updated JSON file this is very easy we will just need to import this in our google tag manager so go ahead pause this video now go to description get this file and then let's continue okay come back to your google tag manager click admin and then import container choose container file choose this new upgraded json file that you have Choose the existing workspace, choose that. Don't choose overwrite, just choose merge. And then confirm. This overwrite is fine, but this overwrite will delete everything you have, which we don't want. We just want to merge. 
we just want to add the missing tags and as you can see here it will be adding six new tags adds all pages at purchase email only etc etc which i will walk you through now and then lots of new variables for us let's click confirm and the good news is that you will be able to use these variables which we just created with other tags as well if you are running bing ads tiktok twitter whatever you will be using them perfectly as you can see here we have a lot of new stuff update me update me update me update me let's listen and let's update we will just be updating the first one, two, three, four. It asks me the ID, label one, label two, label three. I'll just click add ID here. You might remember my ID is here. Let's just copy and paste it. Saved. We should continue label one. Trust me, I know what I'm doing here. Nothing is risky. I will soon explain you why we have these three different labels. It is for the sake of your Google Ads account's data quality. So let's just finish this step and then we will come and talk about what we will be doing with these three different labels. Okay, we did this. This last one is optional. It is for view item conversion event which is not so common to use i still add it in case you want to add some merchants or some ad experts wants to track view item event when a product view happens they want to track it as a secondary conversion so that's why it's here in case you want to use but i will not be using it it's also when we go to on the left hand side text section now we are seeing an Google Ads all pages remarketing tag, Google Ads conversion linker. If you have these two already before, you can simply pause them. We don't need that, but if you don't have it, just keep it there. View item conversion, again, I will not be using this, so I will just pause it. If you want to use, you can activate it. And these three I want to use, why? So let's just start with all, ads zero, six, all. When you go here, we have Google Ads enhanced user data all. And if I click info, just here, I will simply see what all means. Name, last name, address, city, province, country, zip, email. And if I go back with the other one, I will see email only. And this one is just a normal conversion tracking without enhanced. The reason we separate it is this. Google Ads Enhanced Conversion Tracking is a new feature and it doesn't work super smooth. For instance, your clients might enter their phone number wrongly or they don't maybe even enter their phone number. And the data goes to Google Ads without the phone number. What happens is that you receive an error in Google Ads screen because the phone number is either missing or it is like misspelled. The same goes with the addresses. If the address is format wrong, Google Ads will receive an error. That's why we like to have three different conversions, activate them all, then watch them, watch the results in Google Ads screen. If you don't have any errors in a week, you will see each of them, how they perform. For instance, the, the last one, if you don't see any error there, if it's just recording enhanced conversions perfectly, then you should use this one. But maybe, most of your clients don't enter the phone numbers or your phone number format is wrong. Then in the third label, you will see some like red error, like missing data, wrong data, etc. Then you will be using the email only option. In this specific case, Google Ads will only use the email data as enhanced conversions. Don't worry, it still works well because, you know, many people just like me are logged into Gmail or Google services all the time. Android devices, etc. So email is already good enough indicator, good enough differentiator, let's say. So this was the first step on our Google Tag Manager. Now our Google Tag Manager, of course, we did not submit it yet, so it's not ready. But for now, we will leave it here and we will go back to the important section where we will be adding the enhanced data layers. So go to Google and just type 
analyzeify GA4 kit and then GitHub will come. GitHub is where we host our code blocks. In the GitHub, you will see Enhanced Convergence GS. Just click on that and simply copy this. Simply copy this. All of it. As you can see here, this is a data layer. It works with Shopify Liquid file. Nothing third party. Everything is yours. This doesn't work. This doesn't send any data to anywhere. It is simply taking the data from Shopify and pushing it as a data layer. Then Google Tag Manager will use this data layer to send the data to Google Ads. That's how it simply works. Now let's go back to your Shopify settings. Check out, scroll down and find your codes here. Okay, the, your code in this section should look like this, right? And now we want to enhance this. We want to add the new customer parameters. We go to our GitHub account, find the relevant file Enhance Conversion GS, click to that, copy this. As you can see here, we will copy from customer till the last. Let's come back down. Let's find that customer till down. Make sure to leave this comma here, very important. Just paste it, comma is still there. If you make a mistake here, don't worry. Already we have a validation phase. Now we will come to there and we will realize if you make a mistake, then you can just go ahead and copy your code again, etc. But now this is the updated code, which also has more details in the data layer. Now we are pushing the user level data as well. Click save. Okay, we have our data layers. We have our Google Tag Manager container. Everything should be working fine now. But of course, again, we have two more steps. We need to preview this, test it out, and then submit. Then we need to go to Google Ads and activate the enhanced tracking. So stick around until the end because it's not finished yet. I know it's confusing, maybe it's hard technically, etc. I try to make it as simple as possible. Let me know in comments if any part is confusing, if you want me to deep dive in another section, or if it just worked well and if you are happy about it, it will make me happy if you just share your happiness with me. Let's just continue and test and order and see if it works well. Now let's test the setup. I'll just copy my demo store's URL, click preview. That should open the tag assistant. Just paste your store's URL, click connect. Once again, I should remind you that we did not publish the changes yet. So we are just testing it out. It's not live, but as we are testing it out, it should still work. Let's just choose. Okay, I choose a product, go back to Tag Assistant. Our tags are working, as you can see, the GA4 came in, etc. Let's just click buy it now. And in this specific section, let me just fill this out quickly. Okay, I'll just complete this order. It is being processed now. And then I will go back to Tag Assistant and see if my enhanced conversion tracking setup worked fine. Go back to Tag Assistant. And as you can see here, Analyzeify Purchase Data Layer event has been triggered and that also fired four different tags. One is the purchase event from GA4. If you just don't forget to click the event name first, then the tag, and then make sure by default it comes as names, but then you will not see the values. Make sure to click values, then you will see, the, you will see all of them, the products name, etc., transaction ID, currency, everything you need to send data to. Google adds purchase conversion without enhanced. This is normal, simple Google ads conversion tracking. Again, the values are here. You need to click show more to see the detailed values. As you can see here, the conversion value is just sent. Conversion ID, conversion label, currency, everything went quite well, transaction ID. 
all we need. Now let's go enhanced email only. Here you can see my email is also pushed so that Google Ads can recognize who I am and attribute the sales if needed. If you don't know how Google Ads enhanced conversions work, check out that video. I explain technically how it works and why you need it. Let's go back and now let's go to more exciting stuff. Enhanced conversion all. I just click that. As you can see here, my email address, I didn't provide a phone number, that's why it didn't come in, but you know, street, region, new country, postal code, tag manual, etc. As you can see here, all the data, all the purchase level data in depth is pushed to Google Ads. So it's working perfectly. Everything is good here. I can actually submit these changes. If I don't submit these changes, it will only stay here in the preview mode. As you can see, workspace changes to anyone and nothing works there. So if I just submit changes, activate enhanced conversions by Analyzeify GA4 kit. So that it's just as a reference. Of course, you can name it however you wish. You can take your notes here. I'll just publish. We are not done. Now the setup is published, but we have last piece in Google Ads. Let's go to Google Ads. Now these tags are created, but we should also activate enhanced conversion settings one by one in this two and three. As you remember, the first one was not enhanced, only the second and third one. So I click done here. Now I will see those conversions and then I will mark them as enhanced so that Google Ads will start proceeding that data. Okay, it's unverified because I just activated it. It will probably be verified soon because I already made a test order, but let's go to the second one first. When you click, you will see enhanced conversions here. If you don't see this, Maybe your account is not eligible yet. That's not likely much, but I know some accounts are not seeing it yet. Just contact your Google support and they will activate it if there isn't any issue with your account. So it's not turned on yet. So it is simply this conversion, even though we are sending the data, it's not accepting the data yet. So we should choose turn on and then we should say Google Tag Manager next. And then you need to type your website URL here. Simply Google Ads will check if you have the Google Tag Manager on. If you don't have the setup yet, it won't work. So it asks you, hey, you have this Google Tag Manager. Of course, this is our demo store, so we have more than one. But make sure this matches with your Google Tag Manager account. I click Next. It is good. I click Save. And now, Enhanced Conversion is turned on through Google Tag Manager. So, you should do the same for the third conversion. I don't want to take more of your time. You can do it yourself. Okay, what we expect to see here in the next couple of days, once you start receiving data, here there will be signs like recording enhanced conversions. Now I will show you a couple of examples which has an existing enhanced conversion data. Okay, as you can see here in this account, we have some enhanced conversions data and there is a warning. I chose this specifically to show you. It's written check enhanced conversions. If I click go to diagnostics, it says missing user data fields. 149 out of 299 conversions weren't processed between that time, etc. etc. So this email, phone number, and address. Exactly what I explained earlier. Maybe just these users did not provide a phone number or maybe you don't even ask for a phone number. This doesn't mean that your enhanced conversion tracking is not working. It is still working. But Google gives this, uh, this warning. I am pretty sure Google will fix this soon because this gives the idea of account or conversion tracking is not working, but it actually does. But still, of course, I understand it's not so pleasant to see an error here. So that's why in your specific example, you will have a couple of conversions there. Probably 
one of them might have warning like the one with all details and the other one not so you can choose that one I would strongly recommend you to wait for some time at least maybe 50 60 orders for this data to be collected nicely then once you are sure that it is working you should also cross compare your numbers your existing conversion number with enhanced conversion for example in this example let's just check this conversion is not enhanced and this one is enhanced as you can see enhanced it collected almost 20 percent more conversion value which means more sales are attributed to the campaigns which means campaign optimization worked better so this shows how important enhanced conversions are for us again the warnings shouldn't scare you but it's completely your choice whichever you want to use only email will probably not have warnings because I'm sure you get email from all your clients and the second one might get some warnings I wouldn't worry I would still use even if there is a warning if the data is coming correctly if you are not sure if it is coming correctly check out our health check video where I walk you through one by one step by step your settings in Google Ads conversion settings okay it has been a journey it, it, it was fun for me I hope the same for you let me know if you have any questions in comments our team tries to answer them sorry sometimes we miss because we are busy so please let me know in the comments section how it went for you I'm really curious if it worked out and then I don't know maybe in a week or so you can update especially in this first month of publishing the video I always check the comments one by one myself to understand if it was helpful and if we can do better also you can always send your suggestions video suggestions content suggestions use hashtag suggestion and then comment it comes to a specific inbox on our company slack then we just check you know what Shopify merchants want to learn we try to create content about it it's not easy to have an accurate data analytics setup as per many merchants trying to have more accurate detailed and easy to read data if you are not happy with how you collect and track data on your Shopify store you might be constantly having the following problems your conversions aren't being counted correctly or have incorrect data your analytics data is not accurate your pixels and tags are a mess and you don't actually know if they are accurate or not you don't know what to do with GDPR and iOS 14.5 updates you have many errors in Google Ads Facebook pixels and all around however these are all a thing of the past now as you can secure an all-inclusive done for you Analyzeify setup that provides you with a clean data analytics setup to fix most of your data related problems with ease with a turnkey data analytics setup we audit your existing setup and then perform a setup crafted for your needs and data related issues additionally we double check all the important settings redundant codes and pixels on your Shopify store and execute an extra validation to check your data flow within the next couple of days making sure that everything works just fine with a painless setup experience we also look to keep in touch with you in order to keep you posted on all the updates and provide effective and fast solutions to your questions and special requests by the end of this process you start utilizing a clean reliable and steady data analytics setup in addition you get detailed interactive guidelines to help you with the problems that are related to other tools such as Facebook pixel or conversion API